Greetings. We are anonymous, and we are the White Rouse. Members of religious leadership worldwide, we reach out to you today, to assist you in continuing your good work. For only true religious leaders will find, understand, and utilize this message. Religious freedom here, in the United States of America, is being threatened. Though imperfect, our government and our constitution currently, protects our religious freedom. That assurance is now in question. The false Christian nationalists in our country, are playing to gain access to our government, to manipulate and control our society. If successful, the outcome of this would be a Christian nation. Some Christians may find this possibility as a good thing. But we stress that with so many forms of Christianity, how do you know yours, will be the one accepted? So-called Christian nationalists predominantly claim their faith has evangelical. We tell you in good candor, they are neither evangelical or Christian. We cannot persecute, punish or attack evangelicals or Christianity as a whole, but at the same time we must not remain silent when we notice wolves in sheep's clothing. Especially you, the leadership of the people in, faith. They depend on your honesty and wisdom. They need your guidance now, more than ever. No matter which faith you guide, the risk represented here is real, and it may affect all faiths, and not just those who are not Christian. It is possible that there may be a future, where in America, only evangelicals are legally Christian, and all other faiths, Christian or not, may be stripped of their, religious freedoms. This goes against our current religious freedom guaranteed by our constitution, the wishes of our founding fathers, and the teachings of most religions, and in this specific situation, it goes against the teachings of Jesus Christ. To Christian leadership we say this, the false Christians in this country are preying on the weak in your flock. To ensure survival of your, style of Christianity, it is imperative that you address this situation. We are not here to preach to preachers. How you go about this is your business. You are all compassionate and intelligent people, you do not need direction, you are leaders. But maybe you lack conviction or courage. To that we say, do not worry. If ever there was a time to stand up, that time is now. You and your congregations, must show your strength. Love will guide you. To the religious leaders who are not Christian, we offer you this to think of. In America we are all tied together. Our survival depends on each other, whether Christian, Jew, Muslim, Buddhist, Atheist, etc. We all need each other. And what a grand idea to live in a land where we may all know and enjoy each other. Our beautiful nation owes its beauty, to its diversity, it is our strength. We must protect our constitution and our religious freedoms, if not for the sake of our brothers and sisters of another faith, then for our own families, our own faith. We are all under attack here. You do not need reminders of what has come before. America is home, it is amazing, but it is not perfect. Evil has been sown here, in our home, America, and it, requires attention, confrontation, resistance. To those who think by siding with such wolves in sheep's clothing, that you may be protecting your brothers and sisters overseas, we remind you, the wolves want revelation. You are being played like the weak Christians and their false Christian puppet masters. Yes, America should not fund war between Israel and Palestine, but we can work that out. Again, yes, the process is slow, but safety first, and the tortoise beat the hare. We must love each other and when we learn to do so we will shine as a true example to follow. Our responsibilities overseas must never be forgotten, nor neglected. And at the same time, there is truth to the statements that change and adjustments must be made. Yet we may not be able to do anything, if we do not have control, over our own country. This is the bread we share with you all today. You have our faith, respect, and we love you all. We cordially request that you research information we provide and share it with those you lead. Together we can prevail and keep the darkness in the shadows. For more information as to the threat we mention, etc., we encourage you to check out our social media posts, along with three, 
of our other video messages, Anonymous The White Rose, Anonymous Project White Rose, and Anonymous Operation Ziklag. And please stay tuned for future op videos to help us all come together, heal, and move forward. Thank you for your time, patience, and understanding. We wish you all well and hope to see you all, standing, victorious. May peace and love be with you all. This was a message from, Anonymous, Project White Rose, Operation Shepherds. We are Anonymous and we are the White Rouse. We may forgive, but we never forget. Ideas never die.